Hi Aquarius, welcome into your reading. Welcome in, welcome in. We're reading for the uh, fourth week of November. Those of you that are new, thank you for stopping by and taking a listen. All right guys, let's see what's going on here for you. Um, just a quick update. I'm going to just briefly mention uh, Venus Retrograde. And Venus Retrograde is happening on December 19th up on through January 29th, so basically all through Capricorn season. And what does that mean? That means the way we perceive love, the way we handle ourselves in relationships, in all relationships, whether that's your colleagues, your family members, your friends, even your lovers, um, there's going to be a different perception and you're going to be tested throughout this period in time. I'm bringing it up now because, well, one, forewarned is forearmed, and two, you're going to start feeling the effects even now, but more intensely during the Capricorn season. You're going to feel the after effects right through your sign as well. Again, why I'm mentioning it to you guys. Also, take a look and listen to whatever your Venus sign is, um, because it will affect Taurus and Libra the most. So if some of you guys are dealing with a Taurus or a Libra, it's good to listen into those uh, videos as well. Uh, okay, so at the bottom of the deck and the overall message I'm seeing here is the Two of Swords. This is um, being torn between two situations. This There's this um, Eight of Wands in reverse, lack of communication. You could be dealing with a Fire Sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Queen of Cups. That's honestly very loving. The initial message I got, this is somebody who loves you, um, the Devil. But there's something toxic going on between the two of you. Some of you could be dealing with the Capricorn as well. Somebody here is resisting or very defensive in the relationship and or emotionally has run away or detached. Um, once upon a time, there was, kind, there was some kind of success here in your relationship. It looked like there was some ups and downs for sure. Uh, you know, here you are, Queen of Swords, uh, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, somebody from your past feeling guilty, remorse, sorrow. Um, but but there's some kind of radio silence here with this moon that I see here. Let me just put these correctly. There's some radio silence with the moon. Interesting. Here it is, the emotional walking away. Someone is very defensive, resisting this, fighting this. And this is probably what's the, the toxic situation. Something you guys aren't discussing because there is love here. A lot of you could be dealing with a water sign or fire sign or a Capricorn. There's lack of activity, lack of uh, communication. Um, and something here has you torn uh, Aquarius. So that's your overall energy. Let's see what's going on here in your situation. I have the Five of Swords in reverse and the Ace of Swords. Yeah, there's a lack of communication or a fresh new start in, in whatever is going on here with you guys. Quite frankly, you know, someone's holding back. So, and, you know, in the upright position, the Five of Swords talks about cutting something out of your dynamic, cutting something out of your life. Uh, in the reverse, it's just kind of like, hear no evil, see no evil. I don't know what you're talking about. It doesn't exist kind of thing. Um, trying to get out of your head. Let's see. Let's keep going. Um, what's coming towards you guys is the Empress. The Empress is somebody wanting a child. Somebody You could be pregnant yourselves, um, birthing something into your world. This person that, you, that you're dealing with, you also consider of high value. You know, this is knowing your worth, knowing your value, trying to birth something into your world. I'm going to clarify and I'm going to see what this is all about. What you don't see coming is the two of pentacles in reverse. In the upright position, this is juggling two situations, two things, two people. But guess what? <laughs> this isn't sustainable. In the inverted position, which is what what's coming towards you that you don't see coming, is you do. You drop this ball because it's not sustainable. It's, it's, dro it's dropping the juggling act. It's dropping one of the balls. And we're going to see what this is. Um... Like losing control also for me, this in reverse. Your advice. Um, Nine of Pentacles talks about being single. Talks about independence, figuring out your own finances or just being single for the time being. Um, death in the outcome. There could be an ending of something or a transformation of some sort. We're going to clarify. We're going to see what this is all about. So let me move this deck out of the way. 
and take another deck and see what the Universe Angel Spirit Guides have to say for you, Aquarius. Some of you could be dealing with an Aries. I saw the Emperor at the bottom of the deck. This person can also be older than you, not sure. Emperor, Empress. There's a possibility that you being with this person could... You could be a power dynamic, a power couple, a very powerful together. But I feel like, of course, it's possible that you might be resisting this or you're fighting this or something's going on here. Because um, this hear no evil, see no evil situation, also with the Ace of Swords in reverse. Let me see what's going on here. Why is this here? The Ace of Swords in reverse and the Five of Swords in reverse. Yeah, somebody here wants marriage and you don't want to talk about it, or it can be vice versa. Somebody here wants to talk about marriage uh, the or offer marriage, uh, and somebody seems to be running away or skirting the conversation. Because this is just small steps towards this big step. Because this is money on your home, and this is marriage. And somebody here wants to make that offer. But look at this, the Empress in reverse at the bottom of the deck. Here it's in the upright position, but at this little deck... It's in reverse. It's trying to tell me that avoiding it, pushing it, pushing it to the side, not looking at it, not wanting to deal with bringing this into your universe. Some of you aren't ready for this. And it, if it's not you, it's your person. But somebody here wants to make an offer in regards to marriage. Uh, this could be you, Aquarius. But somebody is avoiding the conversation of this. Hear no evil, see no evil. Do I really need to deal with this right now? And it's somebody from your past, for sure. And here you are, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You were moving slow towards this dynamic. Uh, and you were happy to be in that realm. You were okay with this, to be like moving slowly. Um, let's see. Why is the Empress here, please? Maybe somebody here wants children or a relationship or marriage, but something bigger. And this is probably why I'm seeing death back here. Somebody wants to transition your situation from just basic to big. Yeah, arguments, fighting, the empress. Somebody here wants to produce something big into your world, but you're arguing, you're fighting. There's obstacles, there's challenges, there's blocks. Yeah, there's the empress in reverse, like keeping it, a, keeping it at bay. This reading has been the same for you guys for a little while now. I mean, obviously energies don't change that quickly. Um, they just don't, but it looks like you're, st it, it still looks like you're still in this energy field, uh, Aquarius. I'm sorry. I had to take a breath because it's like a heavy feeling Like this is how you feel. You feel like this is just too heavy for me. What is this two of, uh, pentacles in reverse? Yeah, new chapter with somebody from your past. Queen of Pentacles, stability. This is, you know, what you don't see coming is like at some point you're going to stop juggling. You're going to stop being in and out. You're going to stop like, you know, being back and forth in this relationship, this situation. You know, it's like you, you realize, no, it's not sustainable. I can't keep doing this. So you're probably going to end a chapter with somebody from your past or begin a new one with someone from your past. But what it does is it brings in stability towards you. Big time stability. Yeah, it, you're looking at it like with somebody that you've invested time and energy with. This card doesn't belong here. All right, let's see what's going on with this nine of pentacles. Why is the nine of pentacles here, please? Being single or not being single is the issue. And this is falling in your advice position because there is a lot of love here between you and somebody else that you have invested time and energy with. And there's the Queen of Pentacles again. But here you are debating with the fork in the road and you've taken a big fat time out and you're trying to internalize, you know, you're, 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 you're trying to self-illuminate yourself with wisdom if you want to do this marriage or not, if you want this union or not. 
Look at this, with this fire sign. The, the back of the reading is, the, the back of the deck is telling me the whole entire story. With the four of cups that you're not happy. And so there was an ending. And here you are, Aquarius, the star, trying to go towards your true north. Yes, that is you, because under that is this person. And under you is this. You are dealing with somebody very passionate. You are dealing with a fire sign. Should I keep going at the bottom of this deck? It's crazy. You're both happy with each other, but somebody broke someone's heart. And now is trying to have a reconciliation, but is completely burdened by the situation and trying to think of an emotional new beginning. But meanwhile, here we are stalking, trying to bring in big change from the universe. Look at this. Not talking with somebody. That's crazy. The whole entire bottom of the deck. What flew out? in your advice position look yeah you had a crack in your foundation you had a massive crack in your foundation and you're up at night stressing anxiety ridden not knowing what to do you know um, it's interesting when you have this happen especially in your advice position it's telling you yeah Aquarius let it fall let it break let it go down because even if you are to have a reconciliation with somebody or if you are to go towards this person that really wants to commit with you it's saying you can't go back to the foundation that you had. So you need to let this all fall apart. Don't stress over it. Just let it go away. And I'm not talking about leaving the person altogether because at first I wasn't sure. Because this usually talks about, yes, you need to be single for a minute to figure out your shit. Because this is in your advice position. But when I'm seeing the tower and this, this is just bringing you so much anxiety so much stress, but it's saying, let this foundation break. If you want to go back to this person, you have to create a new foundation. And you will rise like a phoenix again out of these ashes. But much bigger and better. I just read you the whole entire bottom of the deck. That was just crazy. Your whole story was right there. Right there. Let's see what death is. Let me mix this well right now. Because that was insane. What is death? I don't even know what to title this. <laughs> this is crazy, this reading. Um, death. Yep. Emperor, Aries, Four of Pentacles. Someone is holding on, especially to the past, the guilt, the sorrow, the remorse. Eight of Pentacles, trying to work on oneself's crafts, like your, your skill or trying to work towards this situation. Five of Pentacles, yeah. Some of you could be dealing with the Leo at the bottom of the deck, feeling strength, feeling the lack of um, something here has you. To OK, you need to make a judgment call, right, Aquarius? Here it is. And and it's in regards to some kind of decision that's not making you happy. It's it's quite frankly got you stuck and you don't know how to get yourself out of it. And it could be because somebody has proposed something to you or somebody has put you in the corner that unfortunately you are forced to make a decision, Aquarius. And now here you are trying to find the strength to deal with this. So clarifying death is the emperor, the four of pentacles and the eight of pentacles and the five of cups and the five of pentacles, a buttload of pentacles. Somebody here is holding on to you. It's possible that you are too. It can be an Aries person, doesn't have to be somebody older than you. Could be, you know, the father of your children, father figure, has children of his own, whatever. Very powerful person. Um, but remember, you have the Empress and the Emperor. You have the ability to find stability with this person and become a power couple. But somebody here is still ruminating over, you know, being left out in the cold, the guilt, the sorrow. This is two fives. These are periods of change. This is a change of something. And that's why death is here. It's clarifying that something is changing. Something is transforming. Somebody here hasn't let go of this, this person. Could be you, could be them, could be the both of you. Haven't let go of each other, you know, and wanting to work towards this. So basically what I'm feeling here is here are two people that love each other, you and your person. Your person probably wants more than you're willing to give right now because you feel like your independence is being sacrificed or it's it's asking something of you, Aquarius, that it's too much for you to give. So somebody here has been pushing it on the back burner, but, you know, knowing, seeing this in your outcome death, 
this has to transition. This has to transform. These are weekly readings, so this is this uh, outcome is not the be all and end all. Um, obviously, it's going to transition and change some more because the fives are changes, clarifying death. This is definitely going to transform. Here you are wanting, wanting to work towards this, but with your own way, in your own perspective, and this person wants to work on it with their perspective. Somebody here is trying to control the dynamic. Meanwhile, you're like, I don't want to be controlled <laughs> by anyone or anything. I want to be free in my, you know, and deliberate and have my own free will here. That's what it feels like, Aquarius. Let's see. It's like, this is probably why you feel stuck. Like you, you someone's messing with your free will or they're messing with you uh, in regards to your independence uh, or, or trying to, you feel like you're being controlled. Or, it's something like that. And if this isn't you, it's your person. What's going on here? It's a lot of cards. Financing careers. I was going to sit, there's a lot of pentacles here. Some of you are worried about finance and careers affecting your situation. Religious factors. You could have a religious difference. Uh, it doesn't have to be. It's something fundamentally different between the both of you. It could be age. could be economic, academic, whatever. Age difference. Something fundamental. Getting to know each other is here. Passion is here. And trust is here. Attraction. Attraction for me is this, the Nine of Pentacles. You know, you doing your own thing, and while you're glowing up, everyone's like, whoop, attracted to you. Um, but I don't feel that. I actually feel that if you, Aquarius, are attracted to this person that you're dealing with, you have a lot of passion and chemistry with this person that I feel that you're dealing with. This is why I think you want to work with this person, because you guys do have passion. Uh, and you are attracted to them. Of course, it can be vice versa. Um, and trust. Trust is talking about trust that whatever's happening here is a blessing in disguise for you. The universe is working on your behalf, Aquarius. Maybe you need to get to know each other. You need to have this communication because this Ace of Swords in reverse in your situation is no bueno. Seriously, guys, what, what is this? This is lack of getting on the same page. Not, not having a fresh start because you're not communicating. Because somebody here hears no evil, sees no evil, is blinding. You, you need to get to know each other. You need to understand each other's love language here. You know, and maybe somebody here is worried about finance and careers or this fundamental difference. Could be economic, like I said, or it could be religious background. There needs to be a communication in regards to this. You know, and not just be like, well, it's never going to work out because X, Y, and Z. Really? Well, how do you know? Have a conversation. And I'm not saying that's you, Aquarius. That could also be your person. Let's see. Meanwhile, this might have attracted you to this person in the first place. Attraction. You were attracted to their difference. Attracted to something different about them. Thank you, Universe Angel Spirit Guides. South note, I like this. Don't let your past hold you back. Like I said, remember in your advice position, I hope you guys listen to my advice because honestly, that's the best part of these videos because they're meant to be for this reason. Tarot is a tool. It's not meant to tell you, okay, that's what's going to happen to your future. No, no. The universe presents things to you. They give you forks in the road. They give you things that are destined for you. They're gifts. They're whatever. They're either lessons or blessings. And it's for you to discern what they are, guys, and or make choices. It's your free will. Don't let your past hold you back, South Node. This is what's good about you, Aquarius. You're good at that. You're good to let this go because that was in your advice. Let the cookie crumble. Let it go away and start a brand new foundation. Expect powerful change. Absolutely. Expect powerful change. Luck is on your side. New moon in Sagittarius. That's coming up in December in Sagittarius season, right after we have Scorpio. Oh, speaking of Scorpio, work through your fears. New moon in Scorpio. That's right now. We're in Scorpio season. 
We're going into Sagittarius season. Right now, you need to work through your fears. Believe me, by next month, luck will be on your side. Expect powerful change here, guys. And don't let your past hold you back. South Node, this is the good thing about you. Let this go away. Start something brand new. All right, guys, this is what I have for you. Please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, and leave me your comments, and I will see you on the next video.